What do you mean? I did a full Let's Play of Putt Putt Goes to the Moon. She I said, thought you played Putt Putt Go Joins the Parade. I did Putt Putt Joins Goes to the Zoo, and then I did Putt Putt Goes to the Moon all by its lonesome. <laughs> I forgot about the Goes to the Moon part. I Long. did Goes to the Moon. I am. Uh, I titled every post in that thread a line from The Man of a Thousand Faces. That sounds like you, yes. The Regina Spector song, not the um, uh, not the book. I know. That everybody, that everybody references uh, anytime anything resembling a monument that's brought up. Uh, you know, like an asshole. Uh, okay, Twitter. Twitch. What? Blah, 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 blah. There we go. After I, I went to all that, that trouble and spent all that money to. to get just this treasure general, map, just as a matter of general policy. Let's talk about this prequel for the Mega Man. I knew it was too good to be true. I mean, I mean it's supposed, supposed to be a legendary Mega treasure. Mega Man anywhere as a title? It's not going to be found that easily. Uh, uh, Doctor uh, Light and Riley's Rock for the Paradise Star Owner. Have rock if it's the last thing I rock. ever do. <laughs> Where the heck are those ruins anyway? I just really wanted to bring up the fact that they actually called something <clears throat> Wily and Light. We're not this is paradise. the Gustav Bon Bon. Can you hear me? Over. There's probably like one other, but yeah, it's, it's exceptionally rare. <laughs> mm, I mean, I'm not going to say there's a reason that we have like failed. Have you found anything? Over. <laughs> They just put Mega Man Legends, colon, and it's Adventures of Trump. A giant doorway? <laughs> that Mega Man Legends it. story. That has to be the entrance we're looking for. <laughs> I knew you could do it, Bon like, Bon. Now we're in business. Like Tron Bon is in a matter What's your of heading? roll or something. North? It's not like Tron right. Bon is a name. Stand by, I'm All on my way. Yeah, All only right, the Legends. Only Let's exists. go! Like, in one prior game, although a relatively recent prior game, but still, like, if you don't, if you didn't play Mega Man Legends, your best indication that this is a Mega Man Legends game is if you see the box that's talking about Mega Man Legends to that now. The rental store needs to have this, and that's how I got to play it. Let's see. Because it came rare very quickly. Well, and R1 needs to look around. Because this is definitely one of my $10 KB40 like A lot of games can become rare like that, where it's like, we didn't make a ton of copies because we didn't expect to sell, and it somehow sold worse than we expected. <laughs> and so, now, huh? Yeah, it's an appropriate response. The sheets are in the background, that's right. Whoa! It's a reverb. But yeah, one of the so robots like, that you end up with like a, any given person who has like a starting yeah, uh, 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 for ten dollars. <laughs> that means using platform. the square button to fire. If I press the L two button, the Gustav's weapon may auto lock onto the target. So yeah, Tron Bon runs around her big robot. It's different from the big robot she's running around in the first catch down three. Okay. Neat, I guess. I mean, I, I believe you. I don't see any reason to doubt anything you just said. I mean, at this point, are we controlling the drop or are we controlling the uh, boost valve? That's Teasel. Hmm. It's Teasel. hold there. Teasel. I bet the serve the box cell, the, um, inside. Uh, the T-Virus. Hey, Tron. <laughs> I'm just you saying, she's going to be in a pretty damn set of her for my How do I use it? The R2 button, Teasel. So then, are we really controlling Trombon, or are we controlling Trombon's robots? These are the here. important questions that must be answered. Use the directional button. Press the R2 button, button Teasel. To where you want the serve bot to go. And press it's the like button. That will launch a beacon bomb, which will tell them Don't like that answer. I, I reject that answer. God. Just full claw. Oh, right. I am not, Let's however, bad at imagining. All of the Surfbots trying to fight them with horrible, like, giant gay bugs and Pikmin and slowly being eaten on them. Horrible. I mean, they, they that, sounds, that, sounds like something, that sounds like something that would happen to the, um, uh, to the, um, uh, to the whatchamacallit robots, the, the little Surf guys. Bots, yeah. The Lego men. They're Lego men. Let's, let's not, let's not lie. Oh, he's good. Oh, yeah. He was pretty loud. And Gogglebot is nearly an outlaw, oh, unless oh, that's by design. Yeah, yeah, the game is a little on the loud side. Let's see something about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's, that's Thank you, Pooch. 
I'll say hi, Fooch. Okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> test, test, Take two. test. I am talking. I'm listening. Are we doing better? You sound reasonably good when I unmute. Okay. Much better, says Fooch. Yeah, right. sounds bad, right? Okay. Yeah, I forgot I had actually changed my streaming settings. In the meanwhile, I was at least it was picked up early in the stream. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank God the alternative would have been so much worse. I'm remembering that one time, that one tragic run through Streets of Rage 2. I try not to because that one hurts my heart. Yeah, for for those who weren't there, which I think would include Gogglebot. Yes, I miss that. On, on, was... In my defense, uh, my chat. Oh no, wasn't this is working. not your fault. <laughs> in my defense, my chat wasn't working, and uh, everybody we had like eight people on that call. And yeah, all of them had it muted. So, like, yeah, for, for, for good reason. Like, out, <laughs> this is not mockery. It's just like the, it, the example I can think of. Like, oh, that sucks that that happened. Yeah, it's like but, a, yeah, it's we had like eight people on that call, like a rare appearance on screen by demo. But, oh yeah. God, now I feel worse about it. Holy shit. We but lost yeah. the demo stream. That's so tragic. There are like five of those in total. <laughs> yeah. They are, they are like rarer than gold. We are in precious metals territory. Rarer and more valuable than gold. But, Very true. Uh, but yeah, like... <laughs> and then at the end it turns out that the audio was picking up everyone but me. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking OBS. <laughs> Well, uh, what, what stream did I have that went? Oh, the the Wizards and Warriors stream that we did. Thank you, Scrooby. Oh, Happy birthday! Thank you. Oh, Scrooby birthday! Said, what Aww. do you want for your birthday, little boy? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for Christmas, little boy? Well, yesterday you got like a super turbo Kumi day, which is like the ultimate in like galley scrub uh, technology. <laughs> well, glad to hear that. I was going to like I don't know throw an apple in a mailbox and just trust that it would eventually reach you. Trust, trust the postal service to deliver yeah. an apple to something. They, I, would scroll, I would scroll Cal Scrub on the side of it and they would know they would know what to do. <laughs> no, they would guess it was for California. No other no further guess. You know what what's still Apparently still, uh... this is this is this is probably like one of the fa the simple fact of the matter is everything about like what I'm going to say is very is less than one degree of separation from the carniest carny to our carny carnies. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. take everything I'm about to say as though it's a total lie, because it probably is. But there are claims that when Ripley's believe a uh, Ripley of uh, Ripley's believe it or not, basically a freak show was still full alive. Name, Ripley, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah full name. Uh, he um uh, he um uh, he like um uh, put up a bunch of stuff that like a lot of people thought was shit, and uh, as a result, the post office was delivering letters that had no address on them, but just said to the world's biggest liar or to Rip. <laughs> I don't think I believe that one, but I feel like they would know what to do in a Caliscar situation. I feel like there's, a, there's, there's an important <laughs> distinction there. And what were you going to say, though, Caliscar? Speaking of the of of the mail, um, when I had a uh, bouge, b u g e, how do you pronounce that? Bouge, e? bouge, bougie. bougie. I would guess bougie. probably not bougie. <laughs> Well, uh, when I had her for Festivus, um, ah, yes, I, did the same, okay. I, I did the same thing that I did to you. I, I had a little bit of um, <laughs> a Bitcoin and a USB stick. Ah, oh, you unvarnished uh, piece of shit. You absolute asshole. It got lost. Got lost. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, oh, stolen dude, by the so man. on the blockchain, there's like, there's like, I don't know. What, like a tenth of Bitcoin? I guess it would have like shot up by that point, or maybe well, shot I, up. Yeah, uh, so, so at that time, I, I sent a bit nickel instead of a bit dime. Ah, yes. Stolen, right? some type of a pickle. A pickle. Ah, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> we all know about the pickle. <laughs> so, Grab a pickle, so, right now. Oh, like, uh, what is it? So, you know, um, they had their Festivus reveal, and they were like, oh, like, you know, there's all this stuff. And I was like, what about the USB key? Uh, she's like, there was no USB key in the, in the box. I was like, what? <laughs> I love, I like legitimately, truly love the idea that, um, uh, that like it'll just be on the blockchain forever as being tied to that USB key and nobody will ever spend it or have it. It's like, 
It's like that guy who like had a million dollars in crypto on his like laptop and then died and then um uh and like everything about the way he died indicates he was trying to fake his own death but fucked it up. <laughs> Oh, was that the dude that went to, like, India or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the dude and, the dude who, like, um, uh, was, like, s suddenly checked into a hospital, there was no body. <laughs> so, like, 90% sure he faked his own death. Also, like, apparently he had been running a humongous Ponzi. <laughs> so, so the working theory is that he, My he working tried. theory is that he was trying to fake his own death, but fucked it up. Actually, died. <laughs> like he, um, uh, like he was trying to pay some doctor off to like uh, make it look like he had passed away, and then he actually died. <laughs> because like nobody's claimed the money, like it hasn't been stolen. It's like so, it all indicates that it's still extremely secure, and he can't get it because surprise, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Do 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 do. That big body of yours is mine. Well, so anyway, here's the uh, antagonist for the game. <laughs> Rob on, right? Well, no, no, I we mean... we are the Bonds, so we have to fight this dude by the name of Glide, and uh, he's a debt collector. <laughs> ah, are the Bonds in severe debt? <laughs> yes, yes, they are. Remember I that they steal stuff. Remember that giant- well, why do you think they steal stuff? You're not exactly my I don't mean- no, like, I just sort of assumed that, like, if you stole stuff, you and I wouldn't need to borrow. <laughs> or would, like, have better options than borrowing because stealing. <laughs> well, well, they they apparently borrowed in the first place and are stealing to get it back. Or I something. see. Anyway, time to find a Transformer. <laughs> Seems like a- as one does. <laughs> Seems like a pretty rough deal. So are, are all three games equally beloved, or is there is there sort of like a... Uh... I think the tier list places the first Legends game at the top, and the second Legends game slightly below it, but I'm not 100% on that. And this, this, this game is severely weird too, so keep that in mind. Like this is this is not a main game. This is a spinoff. It has this is like one of like five gameplay styles it has. Yes, there, this game goes in all sorts of directions. All right. and they're mostly pretty the fun, but actually. they are none of them's Mega. None of them's even Mega Man Legends. Yeah, well, this, this is, is Mega, Mega, Mega Man Legends. Legend. Can you send the server bots to to fight for you, or do they just they just follow you around? I can. Make him gag up on him. Oh, he did. That's like a pick. Mm. I think my internet is cutting out. No, it's not time to make. Gag up. <laughs> um, yeah, I was gonna say the lag I'm getting over here is probably the same you're getting. Yeah, there's usually yeah, a man. little lag. How far back are you guys? Uh, it just is doing a cutscene oh. where a dude is saying, "Not bad." I'd expect no less from the leader of the Bond family. Oh, that's not, yeah, that's not quite good enough. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Okay, so so can do the surf bots actually do anything? Do they represent anything, or are they just? Oh no, like, they uh, act, they you, they are helpful little dudes, and we'll be getting into that. Yeah, you send them to do things. No, but they they don't do anything during that battle. Well, you you could use them as sort of a distraction. They can you can send them to pile. You on have the and, option. Gogglebot wasn't taking it, but yeah, I used it once in that battle, just to shoot them because you have to kind of stop and aim. And I'm terrible at aiming. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, does this game use the dual analog sticks? Nope. <laughs> oh, that sucks. It was it was new enough that it had the potential to, but does not. Then again, most PS1 games only use one of the analog sticks anyway, so. Yeah, no, this like it's a shame that Mega Man Legends came out when it did in a certain way because it would have been. A lot better with the dual analog. And then the only re-release it ever got was on the fucking PSP. Yes. Was it like an actual? Uh, was it like an actual gussied up one, or was it like the PSP release of Legends, which I believe was still like in sixteen by nine, or um, uh, the four by three aspect ratio? There was an part. actual official PSP port of Mega Man Legends one only in Japan. I thought I am uh, heard about that. I mean, it was yeah. a weird one because it was only in Japan, and then we were able to download the 
PlayStation Classic version, which was just the original PS1 version. Yeah. There was a couple times where they did that. Breath of Fire 3 I was about to say, Breath of Fire had a similar treatment. By all accounts, Sony America had, like, a weird thing for a few years on the PSP that the game had to have some arbitrary percent of new content, and what I usually hear is 20. I'm not sure what they thought that meant. Yeah, that sounds like, like, even, like, if you're, um, uh, even if, like, you're, um, uh, like, being generous, that's a very bizarre, like, uh, way to put it, because content is, like, something that you really can't measure. Does that mean that, like, it takes 20% longer to build the game? Does that mean the game has 20% more assets? That doesn't make any fucking sense, is what I'm saying. <laughs> How yeah, about a two-player mode that only works for the themselves a number of times? Like, they were allowed to release games that had essentially no new content, but other companies, not so much. The Servbots. So anyway, if you're not paying attention, Big Brother just got kidnapped. So oh no, not Big Brother. I hear he's watching Teasel you. Bond. <laughs> this is Teasel's receipt for the money. So now Tron Bond is going to have to rescue everybody. Oh no, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. I, Teasel Bond, do you hear now, I don't know much about the Tron Bond series, whatever the fuck we call it. Uh... I One do year. know that, like, <laughs> the, um, uh, the supposed shipping chart is the, oh, does Mega Man like Roll or does Mega Man like Trombon? Wait a minute. The date on this Never resolved. Talk of the internet. O only the arm buster on his hand knows for sure. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. shocking. <laughs> uh, Breakman yeah. says, the BOS3 thing is weird because we got the PSP version digitally years later but we didn't get the PS and didn't get the PS1 classic version. That is strange. Also Three or your people yeah, kept following the best off. Do they? Same, yeah. uh, it, to to frozen... a less exaggerated degree it does happen. Is it frozen for all of you or what? Yeah. I'm just refreshing. Okay. Okay, it unfroze just now. Let's see, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm refreshing. One. Okay, yeah, it, it just came back for me. Let's see, I O U I blah 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 blah. Blow the ink. Oh, yeah, Some of, and then it's blank again. Nope, it's it's just like it is a slideshow. Like every human, it's like a PowerPoint presentation. Every thirty <laughs> seconds, any frame pops up. Yeah, um, yeah. On, okay, on, on, like too, much, too much data. Too much They're data. Not, not great. <laughs> Yeah, you, 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 I'm sorry, you can't, you can't put all these PlayStation <laughs> graphics too across the internet. <laughs> you broke Twitch, congratulations. You just snapped it over your knee. Too many servbots. <laughs> I do want to end the PSP localization tangent on one thing that still uh, angries up my blood to this day. It seems like we're is... good now. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, now there's, now there's movement. Okay. And yet it moves. But, uh... There was a period where Konami was, uh, America was going to relocalize Suko 1 and 2 uh, with the PSP versions of that, but they were rejected on the basis that there was not enough new content in that compilation. I mean, By the time that Konami of America was able to convince Sony to let them do it anyway, Konami of Japan had lost interest because that compilation came out in Japan and bombed. <laughs> Oops. Sudokin, like one of those things that, like, a Pretty super. Cool. Okay, the fact that you pronounced it, uh, that you corrected my um, uh, pronunciation so forcefully tells me the answer is yes. Yeah, it was a very rare game at the time. They eventually released the PS1 versions digitally, but, like, those versions have questionable localizations, so we missed out on them relocalizing them entirely. <sighs> Yeah, it's kind of one of those niche JRPGs, like the Saga Frontier games. Yeah, except more generally beloved, rather than the divisive way that Saga games get treated. <laughs> I believe you'd be too busy to talk to a Seraphon. <laughs> I just like that, like... I guess I'm, trying, I'm trying to pin down exactly what Tron Bond's like, default posture is there, because it's like... 
I don't want to say it's vaguely Simian, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I'm honestly just getting, like, a fucking, like, mom with her hands on her hips. When, when she's talking, yes, but when she's just, like, standing there with her arms completely down, it's like, what? This strikes me as, like, just too lazy to um, care about your posture, <laughs> and therefore, like, destroying your something I back. can relate to. Relatable. So, for anybody who's curious, there are exactly, technically, 40 serve bots, but you could get a 41st serve bot with a demo disc that only existed in a one single issue of, like, Japanese Nintendo Power or something. <laughs> Probably not Nintendo thing. Power, though. Yeah, well, PlayStation Tony Power. Force. <laughs> Gonna guess, like, then get you PlayStation or something. <laughs> You can look it up. It's like issue 145 or whatever. But that was the only way you can get number 145. Wait, 145? I thought it was 41. Excuse me, 41. I'm getting confused by yeah, numbers. Yeah. Nope, did not want to hit mission. But you got did. strategy now. I do that? Yeah, okay, good. Some of these serve bots have very little potential. Yes. Yeah, kind of part of the deal with these guys is that, you know, maybe don't put all your faith in serve bots. They're giving their best. They're giving their all. And also, they tried. quite mysteriously, they all have cooking skills, which raises a lot of questions about how they were built. Is this like one of those like I weird, mean you like, can cook <laughs> even if you don't eat. <laughs> but they theoretically right, now... make good cooking. That doesn't again, that doesn't require you to eat in order to be able to cook well. So here's the deal. There are right now four different kinds of missions. Anybody yeah. wanna take a choice? Whatever um, one's the first person dungeon crawl. There, God, there's. So are, are these the are these the four um, uh, gameplay types? I believe that is the case. Is there a fifth that I'm not remembering? I think there's a be. fifth one eventually. Yeah. There's action, RPG, puzzle, and free. <laughs> you know, whatever that means. Are the RPG ones? I have to ask this because it's very important. Are the RPG ones uh, presented in, like, classic turn-based style and well, everything? I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we get to, you get to gaze upon the RPG version. Sick. I mean, I think we already did technically an action one as the intro stage. Yeah, so got to mix it up. I can't believe they tried the Kirby Superstar Ultra um, fucking Mega Man. I mean, this game's pretty good. <laughs> I'd say it wasn't. And yeah, if you're gonna steal from any game, Kirby Superstar is pretty good on the steal from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, God, there should be more games like Kirby Superstar. <laughs> Remember how they called it Kirby Fun Pack? <laughs> I mean, like, that's arguably a more accurate name. It's a more indicative name, but it also makes it sound like an activity book for small children. Yeah, like it, it makes it sound like it's a coloring book. <laughs> Which Fun is activities for Kirby. True enough, uh, yeah. but it's also not what it is. The goal of this mission is to find the legendary Aurora Stones in the ruins. Miss Tron, please don't go back to the bottle. <laughs> Tron, please don't start drinking again. You promised you'd quit, Miss Tron. You <laughs> promised. <laughs> I'm just imagining 40 surf bots holding an intervention. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be so all bad them, at it. <laughs> all of them, oh, like, you know, all of them saying, all of them, like, saying the exact same thing, like, in sequence. Miss Tron, I've written you a letter. <laughs> Miss Tron, it makes me sad when you're drunk. That is all. Thank you. <laughs> surf bot number one. Then this next one. But for some fucking reason, surf bot number 29 wrote something completely different. Nobody knows how the fuck that happened. <laughs> 
I mean, that's kind of how the serve bots work because, like, there are kind of ridiculous things that they do. <laughs> and, like, we're now in the, like, choose your serve bot chamber or whatever. Wait, and... isn't Tron Bond, like, technically not old enough to drive? Or possibly old enough to drive, but but not she's literally like, old enough to drive this, robots? She's 14 in Legend, she's 13 in this one, and I think she'll be 15 in Legends too, because that's how video games. So, yes, that's a yes. But also, we're talking about, like, a future robot person society. I don't know if our laws apply here. <laughs> I don't know that there's such a thing as a driver's license for a big robot you made in your shed. <laughs> I mean, if you made it in your shed, typically it's just an unlicensed vehicle, and I think in most cases, they're just not road legal. Granted, kit cars often are road legal. I'm going to be thinking about this all fucking night, aren't I? <laughs> I'm thinking about the horrible, like, British car that was on three wheels, and so it was legally considered, like, a motorcycle or something, so, like, you could drive it without a proper license. I see those, like, three-wheelers, three-wheel cars, because they are indeed cars, all the time down about here, and I have no idea what the fuck their deal is. Yeah, I just remember this was apparently an infamous thing in Britain at some point, because it was just like, these things were horribly, like, balanced, so they would just tip over all the time. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. They, they, they're, <laughs> they're, like, they're, like, walking, uh, they're, like, walking liability accidents. <laughs> like, yeah. walking liability suits. <laughs> or driving, I suppose. You just sometimes see someone, like, driving around, and they tip over and just ask you to tip their car back up. Hey, can, hey, buddy, can you do me a favor? Just, like, I know it sucks. I, I know, I know you got other shit to do today, but if you could just like help me, help me like write my car real quick, I'd really appreciate it, man. <laughs> I would make my day a lot better. I'm just, uh, I'm having a rough day. Like, uh, what, are you, what, are you, what are you even doing right now? That's so fucking important, huh? Oh, Mr. Big Shot, not too good to help me write my car. <laughs> Lift me, boy. <laughs> I'm appreciating all of these have the exact same amount of description you would get from a captured ape in Ape Escape. <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for the serve bot that just has to label apes in yellow snow. I hate that my diseased brain just immediately went to the Bad Religion song Murder when you said a the word ape. That's how far gone I am. <laughs> I can't believe that song was in the soundtrack for Ape Out. I mean, it's literally just Ape Shall Not Murder. Ape took the yeah. cure. <laughs> Too bad, though. This ape's gonna murder. Yeah. No, the, the ape does murder in the song. The ape, in fact, yeah. is very enthusiastically murdering. Like I said, it should have been the soundtrack for Ape Out. Yeah, no, seriously. I mean, they had an amazing soundtrack, like... The, um, uh, yeah, but it should have been like an option. Loop <laughs> percussion and stuff. That shit was great. It got was so it's fucking good. I've been playing No More Heroes 3. That's been really good. Yeah, I need to play. I need to pick that up. I have been stupid busy and like when I'm done with work, I have been like, I don't want to go to the store right now. So I haven't done that yet. And I feel bad because <laughs> I don't want to miss it. Because yeah, it strikes me as one of those things that will like be everywhere, and then all of a sudden will be nowhere, and I'll be yeah, it will eventually like, disappear from the world. Yeah, like I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to miss that train. Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting fusion combat wise of like original No More Heroes and Travis Strikes Again. See, that's interesting to me because Travis Strikes Again had notably bad combat the combat wasn't it's, it's kind of taken the good parts like the ways that you can like fuse it into proper no more heroes and like taking the parts of it oh so, like i've read the um uh, i've read that the chips like make them um, uh the chips are the back things. and yeah, they, okay. they they have well, like was, a more that was, cool, that was cool like addition i like that they have a more immediate uh obvious use case because uh, a lot of the times, like, the first one that you get just teleports you to the enemy, which when you're dealing in that kind of 3D space is actually really useful. That's cool. But there's there's also just some other, like, wrinkles to it. Uh, if you can get an enemy into, like, a wrestle, like, a, if you get one of the wrestling hull prompts, like, that has more of a mechanical purpose now because it instantly recharges your katana. 
which is actually really useful in mid combat. <laughs> Look, there's a digger. <laughs> Let's all be friends. Friends! A friend's a friend who knows what being a friend is. <laughs> sure. Fucking weed. The friend's yeah, EP I'm... is incredible. We are not worthy of the friend's EP. Look how anime this man is. That is an extremely anime man. And somehow not as anime as Trombot. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can describe the kind of anime hairstyle that this man has. Trombot is just completely inexplicable. Yeah, that guy's hair style is more of a Goku style. <laughs> yeah, he sort of looks like Goku wearing a hat. <laughs> I was operating at like, I want to say, like 15% Goku. I would put it at higher than 15, like maybe 18. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, you can see how you remove the hat, and then you push the fan the spikes out of it more, and you'll see where the Goku comes in, but... <laughs> Goku in hiding. <laughs> Hidden Goku. And that's always like the weirdest thing about this is just the like <laughs> half of the missions in this are like we need money, let's go rob a bank. And then you'll just have like these <laughs> this friendly conversation with a villain figure. Boom goes the dynamite. Like there was a cave in here. I like how this is kind of like vaguely like a dungeon crawler setup in PlayStation mode. Mm -hmm. Like you should you should be able to like run into a horrible like barely textured Kingsfield monster here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Someone must have gotten here and opened it before us. Does that mean there's no treasure left anywhere? Not <laughs> excitable little serve bots. Some treasure boxes are locked. I'm going to make a, um, a relatively controversial statement here. Uh, in my experience, very few uh, PlayStation games look good, I guess. Um, but the more than most that, of them do not hold up. More than that, um, in a weird way, N64 games... And the thing is, PlayStation games and N64 games are very close, like sparse models go. Like, you won't see a lot massive, of the same techniques are being used. A lot of like ports, you know, stuff like that. They had different like abilities. Like, N64 could render much larger areas where we got to like Hyrule Field, whereas PlayStation was much more like just what's immediately in front of you. Hmm. Uh, but like, Ren64 also could like also would like have like a ridiculously small um, a maximum file size for its textures. So, uh, like, you know, N64. <laughs> uh, Shit like that, but N64 games are really good. Like, like the, the style of them is really good for making you feel like off and uncomfortable. Uh, hmm. They can do that. That's a thing they are capable of doing. And I have yet to see a PlayStation game that truly captures like what an N64 game can do in that very bizarre, very specific field. <laughs> of making you need to play man. some more like really weird Japanese PS1 games like oh, Bizarre I'm, Balls oh, or for sure. Absolutely. Or I have zero doubt. You know, it's our... Man, Mizuna Falls is a weird ass game. I was also playing some. Oh yeah, Mizuna Falls. I read I watched the um uh, the the um uh, did you know on that? Uh, apparently the um uh, the full translation just finished. Yeah, yeah. What were you gonna say, Arlo? Oh, I was gonna say playing uh replaying Saga Frontier recently. There are some. That is a weird ass game. There's yeah, so much say, intentional clash. There are some environments in that that are very deliberately disturbing, <laughs> that I feel like do kind of satisfy that N64 itch, but it's not consistent I feel like, by any way. I, I feel like uh, there are only a handful of creators I've seen really use how unsettling different like clashing artistic approaches can look in games it's like something that suda does a lot yeah like uh, suda will put shit like mimi in your game uh and we'll all love and i'll and i love him for it i, but I mean to, like i have a see, vaguely like, mixed media look sorry oh uh, yeah no fair enough true i just genuinely love mimi so much <laughs> She is like, whenever, 
She's there because Travis is a weird creep, but she's not fighting Travis, she's fighting Henry, who has no idea what's going on and wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking specifically of, like, Flower, Sun, Rain, which is one of the most unsettling things I've ever played, uh, just because it's so relentlessly, like, nothing looks like it fits together on purpose. And it's just... off. Is that the one with the time loop and the pink alligator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to. I need to actually. We only ever got the DS version of Flowers. I need to like you know get the old DS emulator actually running. I mean, extremely legal real DS <laughs> actually running. Yeah, let and... me help you find your real DS. I'll help you. Ah, uh, uh, yes, thank you for that. I appreciate it, and then we give that one an honest shake. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, I, I've still never managed to fully like comprehend it well enough to make headway. In it. I, it's one of my like personal goals as a human being. <laughs> yeah, I got through the first loop, put it down, and then I think went back to playing Sonic Rush, because yeah. Sonic Rush is my sure. shit. Wrapped in black, mm -hmm. black and black. Too black, too strong. Too black, black, too strong. I still can't but, believe yeah. that Yama well, sampled fucking Malcolm, Malcolm X, X Sonic that's game. That's <laughs> <season. laughs> also, those like, two-star bots just got on, too. <laughs> Uh, during the cutscene, come on. <laughs> it's, oh, it's just incredible. It's like, guys. Now you know how to deal with traps. <laughs> yeah. Just send it <laughs> Servbot's headlong into them. <laughs> There's two Servbots that are really unhappy, and one that's just jumping back and forth. <laughs> they got issues. But yeah, I think, I think as PS1 games go, this has a good handle on what the hardware is actually capable of doing while not looking like trash. <laughs> also, congratulations on straight up having subtitles now. <laughs> oh, thank yeah, God, that's, yeah, that's a that's a very good change. I mean... Uh, Brightman says, I'm pretty sure that Mega Man 64 and Mega Man Legends support, there's one recording of Roll saying Mega Man that is reused throughout the entire game. I would expect that that's probably the case to save on file. <laughs> Nice. Oh, yeah, I, I never like, tried the N64 version because there was yeah, I've generally nothing heard about that it's that worse. Seemed appealing. Not well, horrible, just, but worse. My understanding <laughs> is it's worse. It is like the um, uh, the lesser version of the game you want to play, and like if you want to play Mega Man, why are you playing this? Like when there the, is a much better version available. Yeah, like the, at the time you might, if you only had an N64, you would have been perfectly fine with that version. There's no particular reason to go play it. Now. Yeah. Uh, the the real fascinating Miracle Capcom port on the uh, N64 is still RE2. That version is crazy. Yeah, like that one's... The fact that that exists is kind of a miracle. It's a miracle that it happened. It's actually got a ton of features unique to it that are worth tracking down as like a randomizer and like just weird bonus content. Like that version's really cool, actually. You'll be burned to a crisp. Perhaps I could send a servbot to die. <laughs> They'll get better. <laughs> They're only going to get a little that, crispy. <laughs> that's the thing that blows my mind about servbots. There is a um, uh, there is a finite number of them. You only have so many. <laughs> but they're, but they're also essentially unkillable, so it's fine. Yes. Also, uh, Mags is posting stuff in chat, but, um, uh, but it's not, uh, oh wait, no, 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 it's, it's there. I've, it's, it's, it's different colors. It got thrown off. It is, in fact, updating. Hi, Mags! Hi, Brakeman! And, uh, Mags still thinks you smell, Goggle Bob. I'm sorry. Isn't it, like, Mags' birthday or something like that, too? Is it? I don't mm -hmm. know. I thought something was mentioned wow. on Twitter. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mags! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or not. I don't know. Uh, Stephen, my birthday. Sorry, I forgot your That's birthday. <laughs> but I remember Calsgrove's birthday, so <laughs> hey, whatever. We don't care about Calsgrove's birthday. <laughs> we should. Uh, we already well, covered you that. You description of what you'd like your VTuber to look like. Mm. You, gotta, you gotta describe your VTuber. I, I, you gotta describe your VTuber, I'm, Goggle Bob. <laughs> this Who's is like a dream I had. It could be a Thurabot. It could. Yeah, absolutely Maybe not. it should be. What? No. How expensive is VTuber shit anyway? Um, uh, depends. I think, like, there are... I think a lot of it's software. I don't think you need a ton of hardware. Although, 
probably. But you need you need hardware enough to like yeah you do, need be doing enough. that kind of tracking. You wow. need a decent enough Funky. computer that can run the tracking rig and stuff. I like probably to assume that probably so pretty... some people like there's software that does that on the phone though as well. Yeah, but like you probably need a pretty good phone, um, webcam, like you know, can't like and just I get was, some bullshit. And I was thinking that then you would also probably need some decent lighting wherever you're doing this because that yeah, needs to be... so it depends. Uh, like you just don't want your shit just breaking really obviously midstream, especially if that's your um, uh, if that's your money maker. <laughs> <laughs> I do appreciate. Uh, well, uh, honestly, a lot of people probably find that pretty funny when that happens. But uh, oh, absolutely. I, I do appreciate uh, the rise of the bizarre branded Italian VTubers. Italian VTubers? What? I said branded Italian VTubers. <laughs> oh, well, I don't like that. <laughs> There's an official Sonic VTuber. There's an official uh, Bub from Bubble Bobble VTuber. What? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> there is an official VTuber that is Mr. Hart from Fist of the North Star. Uh, <laughs> interesting. <As> you do. <laughs> you know? Like, you know, if you're going to be... Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have an answer to that one. I just don't, <laughs> just, just bottomed out. It's nothing there. Just like the, any thought I might've had is gone. No thoughts on empty? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, uh, basically Mag says, I'm not doing any of the tech stuff for you. Just tell me what you want your cute anime girl self to look like. <laughs> 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 yeah, so really, <laughs> so really what you're looking for here is your anime Sona. <laughs> Daytona. Obviously like goggles Persona, are much. <laughs> but not. Daytona. Thanks, I'll send you a PM with my details. <laughs> <laughs> you really should start charging at this point, Max. Like, people are going to start expecting it for free. If you're good at doing something, never do it for free. <laughs> I'm just uh, even if you're not good at doing something. Though, but you shouldn't act doing it for Genie for free because Genie's cool. No, then you should start charging. <laughs> Genie seems like the sort of person that would pay for it if she had the inclination. <laughs> I want my VTuber self to be the Bitcoin symbol. <laughs> wow, that's gross. That's going just to attract a, some kind of people. Just a big B dollar sign with like that's horrible like, eyes. The kind out. of people that will come to watch that are like. It's like some sort of honey trap for the people you want fired into the sun. <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's like that fucking uh, meme image. I, you jerk off to women. I jerk off to abstract ideas like money and power. <laughs> you would find those guys. <laughs> the, the people doing that, but unironically. <laughs> yes. Zero irony. The person, the person who shouts, uh, who like pumps themselves up. By shouting Sigma Male Grind Set. Rising Grind Set by Sigma Gamers! <laughs> Let's oh, get this dread! I was, I was shouting, like, I got into, like, I was shouting at Fat, like, a week or so ago. Uh, uh, it was, uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, was, he had tweeted, I am going to die in some stupid way. Like, I will be doing a stupid move at the pool and smash my head open on the flagstones. Or I'll get crushed by a falling McDonald's sign. So I responded, do you want me to lie at your funeral or tell only the truth of how you lived and died for the brand? Mm -hmm. And his response was, my boy here was a Sigma male until the very end. His brine set was 100%. He ate almost no carbohydrates. <laughs> That's a beautiful person. That is a beautiful, beautiful, like, sentiment. Also, these, uh, these, the surf bot is just gonna be trapped in death forever. <laughs> yeah, you know. Poor little guy. Don't be getting bombed on the head until we're all dead. He was born to die. We're all to fuck. So, what he's, so he is, um, so he is, um, uh, so he is in a strange way fulfilling his destiny. 40 dead surf bots. We cannot have 40 dead surf bots. Every single bot got a bullet in the head. You know that would only make them stronger. They are like vitamins to us. Kill them all. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how's that for an Aqua Teen deep cut? I think my brain is just now thinking of the horrible robot shouting they excite us sexually. <laughs> Trouble.
Markula. I do like that we can find a treasure chest key that opens up a treasure chest that then gives us another key. <laughs> this is basically how dungeon crawlers work. I don't know what you're complaining. This is yeah. true, yes. Find the red key to open the blue key, to open the yellow door. This also yeah. might secretly be a Doom War. <laughs> can you run Doom on, on the mis Doom on the Misadventures of Tron Bond? What are you gonna say, Jamie? No, go ahead. I forgot. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna port this level into Jack's quest and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't like this first person view at all. I do not <laughs> like this. I mean, I do have to finally be anime. I do have to say that this is one of the things that I don't know how do I put this? Like to skip to the end in a manner of speaking on the misadventures of Tron Bond, I do feel like it's the kind of thing where it, you play each of the styles and you're like, oh, okay, that's neat. And then you kind of like do the first level of everything and it's kind of like I don't feel like anything really sticks as like the best part. And then you just play Mega Man Legends. Kind of, you, there's a good reason that you'll be switching between all of these because if you played any one, more, one of them for like 30 minutes, you'd be like, I'm done with video games. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Also, Max has uh, come to the conclusion that so far the answer for what your V2 Red avatar is is goggles and Bitcoin. No, no, yeah. Bitcoin's him. Nope, yeah. nope, it's yours now. I'm no Bitcoin. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't deny it fast enough. It's yours now. You gotta own it. I was having a friend with a the conversation with a friend who uh, was talking about how non fungible tokens are so dumb, but Bitcoin is awesome. And it's kind of like, okay, so. How you do know, you have those opinions? You know how you think That's... owning fake art is like fake? Well, what about apply that to currency? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what if, okay, like art is stupid when it's fake, but money when it's fake actually rules. It's like, all now, we money all, is fake. We're all reasonably well educated, which is why we all know that money itself is also fake. Mm hmm. I can confirm this. I've studied money, <laughs> but um, uh, I'm but Dr. like Cash. the idea of somebody going actually Bitcoin rules. If only it weren't for those stupid NFTs. <laughs> uh, now that's that's genuinely surprising to me. Yeah, no, I, I was kind of. I don't of know like, how you hold both of those opinions. I was gonna say you're almost there on a decent opinion, but yeah. Maybe eventually they'll come around to realizing that Bitcoin is stupid as hell too, but until that happens, we're just going to have to like smile and nod and back away slowly. Much like we did with Calisgrove. <laughs> <laughs> no, Calisgrove always knew that Bitcoin was stupid as hell. Yeah, but Calisgrove you still, the, 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 the smile and nod was thinking you could make money involving yourself in Bitcoin. <laughs> Yeah, smile and nod of Calscrub was, ah, don't worry, I'm using Bitcoin to my advantage. No, no, there are no winners. <laughs> Just a question of who's going to be the worst loser. Yeah. One of my smile favorite Bitcoin blah, moments, blah. I have to share this. Hold on, my wife's home, I gotta kiss her real quick. I keep the porn. Favorite Bitcoin wife moments? <laughs> <laughs> Non-fungible wife. <laughs> I mean, technically non-fungible. <laughs> Let's talk about Kalik, the DNA imperative. <laughs> One of the, uh, the other great uh, PS1 first-person robot games. <laughs> it's odd that there uh, was more than one. <laughs> it's even, it was even better that... Uh, in, I believe, Japan and Europe, that was just called Kilik the Blood. That's a way better name. Yeah. Got, okay. I think there's a Kilik 2. Okay, I gotta then... share with you all. Once, once Canboy finishes whatever stock he was saying.
<laughs> uh, yeah, in Japan, Kalitha bl Blood 2, colon, Reason in Madness. Ah, that's a hell of a name. Good job. And then the the final, the the spiritual successor to the Kalitha games, Brahma Force, the assault on Belt Logger 9. <laughs> Uh, one of the worst names anything's ever had. It's pretty impressive. Okay, my favorite uh, Bitcoin moments, and there are many, there are many, but uh, one of the all-time greats will forever be the time uh, some dude was in something that was pretty, like, transparently a Ponzi. And the person, uh, and he was uh, one of those assholes who like streams himself at all hours, so it's just like him in his room, changing his fucking shirt, streaming himself. Uh, and That's talking the content that. the internet craves. Yeah, just one of, <laughs> one of those fucking assholes. And like, and like he says, but yeah, no, I've got this great, uh, this great investment opportunity, and just, like people want to ask what it is, and he describes it, the exact sequence and it is the dictionary definition of a Ponzi. We are going to take the money and use to pay the first few guys and then uh, pay the next guys with the next money. Like literally <laughs> a Ponzi. And then everybody in his chat goes, that's a Ponzi. And he goes, no, no, it's not a Ponzi. It's not a Ponzi. It's, it's not a Ponzi. And then he explains it again. <laughs> he didn't know what a Ponzi was. <laughs> <laughs> he did not know what a Ponzi was, like how a pon like like the actual what what the word Ponzi meant. So he was describing an exact Ponzi to a bunch of people for something he was already doing <laughs> and just like just like responding to accusa not even accusations, concerned comments of Dude, you are literally describing a Ponzi with, no, no, I'm not, because he did not understand what made a Ponzi a Ponzi. It was amazing. I had never seen anything like it. It was gorgeous. Ah, <laughs> uh, if only, uh, take us back to those Halcyon days. <laughs> well, speaking of scams, I was watching the uh, Lula Rich uh, documentary on Amazon this weekend. Oh, yeah? That, that was pretty good. Uh, which one's that one? Which uh... That's the pyramid scheme where they sell the really ugly leggings to the women. Oh, I don't think I know much about that one. I, I'm barely aware of it. <laughs> uh, interesting, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the one that I'm dreading, the, um, uh, the, the um, uh, pyramid scheme story that I'm dreading, but no, it's um, in the pipeline. It's, it's unavoidable. Is the of course the um uh, God her name escapes me that New York socialite lady. Oh yeah, that uh, was Anna like... Delvey. Anna Delvey. That's the one that's got like the Netflix documentary already like lined up and everything. It's all going to fucking happen. There's no avoiding it. It's just it's just there. No 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 um uh, no form no relief no salvation. We will not be spared the Anna Delvey documentary. Uh, but like Ooh, what when I miss my. My sound went out. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but when the story about her broke, I saw loads of people saying, oh, well, she did nothing wrong. She was only scamming the extremely rich. No, idiot. She was scamming hotel employees and some poor journalist lady who was along for the ride. And she was worshipping at the feet of Martin Sh Shkreli. Oh, that one, yeah. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> oh, that one, yeah. You can't, you, you can't, like, make this, uh, you can't, like, go, actually, she was the good guy, because she very obviously was not. I know we all want to, like, kick uh, rich New Yorkers in the teeth, but she wasn't kicking them in the teeth. She was just sort of hanging out with them. <laughs> Mag asks, do you have any uh, tips for starting a pyramid scheme? Uh, <laughs> yes, get, uh, un or get... Housewives that are newly married have nothing to do. Uh, bonus points I mean, if they're Mormon, because apparently that's a big Ponzi scheme as well. Whoa, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of that. Um, basically, um, uh, seek out people who um, uh, use the word MLM and aren't talking about males loving males, uh, because yeah. those are your best marks. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's. I mean, if you're going straight for 
multi-level marketing. I mean, you're basically already in a pyramid. Well, multi-level so. marketing is a pyramid scheme. We only yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're basically already there. Is because um uh, is because, and this is so fucking stupid, and it's a terrible indictment of the SEC. But they are not considered pyramid schemes because some of the um, things they sell can be used for their intended purpose. Mm -hmm. Amway Arena. Fucking okay, Amway. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't speak to me about that. I'm like 30 minutes away from the headquarters of that fucking place. What? That's not allowed. <laughs> the, the, uh, um, the national headquarters? Yep. Yeah, they're based out of, uh, well, not Grand Rapids. It's one of the little suburbs of the area called Ada. But yeah, I can I drive by their headquarters if I want to easily. <laughs> Now, we would never advocate violence on the street. <laughs> yeah, that's... But... <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's the one a documentary about scams that I'd love to see, but I never will because the freaking devices and van handles are way too powerful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, we will never... We will never get the full story on Amway. We just never will. It will never happen. We just have to be at peace with that, and it sucks. <laughs> like the, um, uh, the the fucking stadium where the Magic plays used to be Amway Arena. Now it's the Amway Center. They renamed it, but they still named it after Amway. <laughs> the Amway universe. Yeah. Chance we can dead cat in Grand Rapids without hitting someplace named Van Andel or DeVos or anything like that. Well, looks like you beat me to it this time, my little friend. Amway Center. For the record, for a while around here, we had the first Union Center, which, you know, was abbreviated to be the F-U-C. <laughs> Nobody Fuck. really thought that one too hard. <laughs> yeah, like that's, that's one of those situations where it's like, well, yeah, you could have, like, maybe named it a little better like always consult a 12 year old before you name something because they'll figure it out pretty quick yeah like would you put this um uh would you make this like your online name to uh, avoid a square blocker the answer is yes you fucked up you could have messing up what are the server bots doing right now they're they're computing. <laughs> Here's a big jewel. Like their their job was to make little things explode, and then they made things explode. Good, Good job, on there, bro. little guys. We're all very proud of you. Excuse me. Well, I see. So how long did that take? Thanks for the save. I can tell. Yeah, so that was just about a half hour, a little longer, 40 minutes. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. All right. So now we move on to further missions. Assuming the stream has caught up. <laughs> it has. The stream will never catch up. Here are the serpents whose brains rating went up during this mission. <laughs> So following this, are we going forward to puzzle, action, or free? Puzzle. <laughs> uh, let's do puzzle. I'm yeah. getting, I'm getting a vibe that you want to do puzzle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we want to do puzzle. Puzzle sounds fun. How about puzzle? <laughs> do the this puzzle gameplay that. style I remember the least of them, so I'm very curious. I vaguely remember it the most, actually. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> puzzle time. It would just be great if it was like Super Puzzle Fighter Turbo, but you know it won't be. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you already have that engine. Why not reuse it? Oh, wait. <laughs> Do 
last two things that involve sending serve bots to death. I wonder if this will also involve sending serve bots to death. <laughs> Hey, this is another situation where we're going to need a serve bot with smarts. I don't feel like there's such a thing. <laughs> it's relative scale, I suppose. The smartest serve bot. So this is like, like a how many moves type of puzzle type of deal? Hmm. Sucks. <laughs> Let's get to work. Let's Next, uh, how come I don't get cool toys for my birthday like I used to when I was eight? Uh, I don't know, being nine is hard. <laughs> so it is her birthday, right? <laughs> Did we get that oh, confirmed? Shit. It is her birthday. <laughs> Megs, like, uh, dump your, like, uh, Steam name in, um, uh, in fucking Discord or something. I'll give you some shit. <laughs> It's gonna be bad rats. <laughs> Won't be bad rats. It might be bad rats. <laughs> Fuck my thing. It's gonna be bad rats. <laughs> but there'll be some other stuff too. <laughs> hey, please enjoy bat rats for your birthday. <laughs> Rat bats. <laughs> Rat bats. The full stop tank can lift containers a maximum of eight times. I'll have to keep that in mind when I'm moving the other containers out of the way. Well, let's get to work. <laughs> this is just this is truly honest, honest work. But I can carry these light wooden containers anyway. Says me. Meat and crab. Meat. If I turn in place after picking them up, at least I can. Concerned by the giant meat container. Miss Tron, Miss Tron. <laughs> Look, crab! I feel like we're not talking enough about the gigantic meat container. <laughs> meat! How do you feel about the gigantic crab container? I try not to, again. Very difficult not to. Meg just said that she can't use, uh, she can't play Bad Rats because Steam won't function on a Chromebook. <sighs> That's just Sorry. a polite way of bad saying that. Bad Rats doesn't no. function on a <laughs> PC anyway. Yeah. Yeah, like that. You can get the same experience of what it's like to play Bad Rats by watching videos of Bad Rats and pretending that you're pressing the buttons because they're just as responsive. Yeah, like, like you can. <laughs> Let's be real. Like, uh, the, the ideal Bad Rats uh, circumstances, it's not playing Bad Rats. <laughs> I, just look recommend, at the... I recommend watching my Let's Play of Bad Rats. It's something else. To see how many times that the game forgets that it's supposed to be 2D. Yeah. Oh, that was, do, that, see you uh, doing the end, actual 3D the puzzles and dying inside. Oh yeah, when we got to Bad Rat show, that shit was... That shit was something else entirely. Rats are getting louder, B. <laughs> the rats scream louder. They are the only rat they kept with racism. <laughs> God. God. Everything about that series just fucking hurts. <laughs> and that's why you've made sure that all of us own this. So yeah, it's a puzzle. Push the crates. The crates. It's like a bond, if you will. I, I don't know what that is, and I refuse to learn. You've played it, whether you know it by name. God, that was a good Beef container. I read the words beef container, and now all I can think of is beef tank. The wonderful good boy beef tank. They had the wrong number. Damn it, how do I get this crab? How do I crab? Damn it, I'm going to... Mm. Can't ever stop crabbing. Never stop crabbing. Don't stop. 
Crying a baby. Hold on to that feeling. <laughs> So I guess I you get back. infinite restarts without there being a problem. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they do not expect you to be very smart. <laughs> this is a game for 12-year-olds, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have issues with it. You're going to have the um, uh, you're going to have the eternal question, are you in fact smarter than a 12-year-old? Don't stop. Do you even live? Fight me, IRL. <laughs> you are the dumbest boy alive. It's funny, I see the boxes that say meat, and I think of the meat helmets from Heathcliff Comics. Oh god. <laughs> the meat. <laughs> the meat helmets. They love the meat day. <laughs> it's important uh, to remember. Really love the meat day. Hmm. No way I can. Here I am. Moving all the crap I can. Oh no, do what I am. No, Tell them no, I'm no, a no, superman. No, no. Got the crab! Hooray! I don't know how to do the last one though. Hmm. There were two this area that I'm missing. Is it something that I'm doing? Hmm. What do I do? Cause there's no way I can get that back in 10 news. Okay, let's try this again. Gaze in amusement as Goggle Bob tries to figure out beef and crab. Beef and crab. Okay, this one's an easy one. Yo, the two food groups. The only two food groups. In fact, the only two foods. <laughs> that really <laughs> escalated quickly. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, like, like if you claim that there is a food that's not beef or crab, no, there isn't. <laughs> I don't think there's any evidence to support that. Now, let's see here. Next wants the live-action Marmaduke for her birthday. I'm scared the of that actual Marmaduke. I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't. I don't have the live-action Marmaduke. Here, I only have the live-action Clifford. Uh, Clifford the Blood Red Dog. <laughs> I still what? can't believe that, like, a significant chunk of the internet got fooled by that. Oh, man, the Clifford the Big Red Dog aired at Sundance, and we were all really shocked by how much homophobic shit Over. Clifford <laughs> the Big Red and Dog the says. It's just, we can all easily <laughs> believe that. Yeah, like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> like... Like, we've like, been there, we know. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I for one cannot believe that Clifford the Big Red Dog, at the very end of the movie, suddenly looks directly into the camera and says the 14 words right before it cuts <laughs> the credits. <laughs> I was shocked. Shocked. Completely disgusted at this bastardization of the important value of Clifford Brian. <laughs> so what can you make the surf bots do in this one? Uh, they offer hints? Uh, I would not trust hints for that. Yeah, like, isn't there a whole thing that they're kind of dumb? I guess, well, I mean, the, the hint was apparently move stuff out of the way. It's like, well, thank you. I mean, that's, that's I guess that's technically a hint. <laughs> 
I, I'm not sure if I would you call it. Then I can move anywhere, so I will. If only you could stack them on top of each other. I know, that, that seems to be like the way to go. Yeah, I can't quite figure out. Like, I really want that crab. Ah, uh, crab. But it seems uh, like if I get the crab, then I don't have enough strength to do the additional meat. Additional meat. <laughs> it's ran out of strong. Pretty much. That sucks. I hate it when you run. I hate it when I run out of strong. <laughs> like I think I got plenty of strong, but then, then all of a sudden I'm all out of strong. I mean, strong like the hedgehog. Can't move that. What if you could push them? Imagine the possibilities. Or if you could push them. I'm saying this too. because I was going to say, do not push them. You do not like want to open that can of worms. <laughs> that is a one-way street. You what? Put can you put that uh, wood crate in that little uh, area of water, like to the yeah, right to the oh, south of where you're at? Oh yes, to make a bridge. That's right. That is a thing we can do. Ah, I'd forgotten. See, someone was thinking, unlike Aquabot. I am as intelligent as a servbot. I am so smart. I am so smart. S M R T. I mean S M E R T. I'm a. I'm a. We all want to be as smart as a surfbot because they got like, they got like robot brains. They're good at math, probably. There's one surfbot that's good at math, <laughs> but just oh, wait. Awesome. How could a computer be bad at math? <laughs> They're not made very well. It's kind of like <laughs> the the question of how could a computer be racist? Like we've learned answers to that. <laughs> Okay, now having figured out that bridges are a thing, this is a slam dunk. Slam funk. Yay. We getting crab, we getting beef. The server bot's gonna eat well tonight. <laughs> Which is definitely Too something deep, they though. do. Crabbing around. Cut, cut, cut. Okay. Must be a knife. Knife it around. <laughs> then shin around. This is the ever popular I should go do a B. From Space Ghost of. They're silent, like crabs. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we got. Then should go go, baby. Like, is this one of the metal ones? Yes. Remember if they want the entirely entire Beverly Hills Chihuahua movie series, I forgot there's more than one of those. They made why would they make more than one? Like, sure like the, the, the Chihuahua is in Beverly Hills. <laughs> it's not gonna become Beverly Hill or Chihuahua. Uh, I mean, it's, kind of like the okay, yeah, it's just it's fertile ground. <laughs> that's a trilogy of films. Rip Charles Grown. Um. Kind of like how they keep finding out ways for Airbud to like just keep breaking the rules. Oh, that poor dog! Not his <laughs> whole thing is that he didn't break the rules. The idea of Airbud breaking the rules is very upsetting. <laughs> Airbud's a rival beat. Loner. <laughs> I'm learning a lot about Airbud today, and none of it's good. Nope. Just, just <laughs> incredibly disappointing Airbud facts. This stream. <laughs> be, be, I got something for you. Not listening. Air Chud. Damn. Well, when you put it that way, I feel much better. <laughs> Where's the crab, though? Can we just name this stream "Incredibly Disappointing Airbud Facts"? I mean, we can. That's a way of you life. have that option. 
That's a way you of have playing. like you know the ability to change like your stream settings. How do you think <laughs> I had? How do you think I was playing? Do you like horny bunnies for like six years? <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot that I'm still broadcasting. That says we're playing Mega Man Legends. I mean, it's oh, like well. this is a bit of close enough. It is. It is kind of Mega Man Legends. Yeah, I mean, like a I'd legend say, of Mega Man. <laughs> Okay, more boxes. We can do this. We now understand. Box of brown. I have learned things. Things that cannot be unlearned. I mean, I think uh, you can unlearn them. Um, I'm pretty sure you will unlearn them, like, next time we do them, uh, like, next week when you do the next puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you did it. I mean, this is just kind of the right level of puzzle to make me feel like I am doing something, but it's still, like, smart enough for a kid's placemat. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I do feel this like I'm a junior jumble of Mega Man games. <laughs> yes, exactly. Try a junior jumble. Uh... X says that we don't appreciate the stories of Chol, Pappy, and Delgado. I don't know who those are, and I'm I, I scared they're to they're Beverly learn. Hills Chihuahuas. <laughs> I'm just making an assumption. I mean, it seems like a reasonable assumption, but I don't like it, and I'd rather not make that assumption. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah. Wonder what the Serapod has to say about this. Why was I programmed to feel pain? <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel I deserve this. Would you program a robot to feel pain? Uh, <laughs> in a heartbeat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's how they learn. Okay. okay, like, here's the thing though, right? Like, a robot can't feel pain because a robot can't feel. It can simulate I was about to say we can make it think it feels pain. to pain but like it can't feel pain the only program that can feel pain is Excel because I have made it feel pain <laughs> I have forced pain upon it it now has an understanding of what pain is and it hates me for it but I'm, I'm not sorry talking about Beverly Hills Chihuahua uh, <laughs> canon in the chat that is voice by preserved. George Lopez What? You're not ready to fight for that crab? <laughs> we got two out of three crabs. I'm I'm confident in that. You gotta fight. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. To crab. To crab. <laughs> <laughs> that was yep. the most in sync thing that has ever happened. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm honestly very impressed by it. <laughs> We're gonna listen to some Beastie Boys now. Can I just say, at least one point, I was in a band that had shows in New York City, and we sang "No Sleep Until Brooklyn" for probably three hours at one point. <laughs> Not Does live. Did that help you stop falling asleep? It was in an expressway. <laughs> there you go. And yes, that is exactly what was happening. <laughs> It was the only way to not die. So anyway, box moving was a much faster event than dungeon crawling. Take that fun. RPG concept. And now we are definitely going to try the other mission. Let's learn what free is. Free! 
which doesn't have like a distinct like cost on it, which is just awful. <laughs> like it makes me concerned. I'm sorry, Max. I am currently listening to "Hey, Fuck You." Say what we want. Fuck you. Do what we want. Fuck you. Different. Wait, that's not the. That's not the. That's not the Beastie Boys song. That's the Rancid song. Fuck you. Yeah, both of those are good. There are so many songs titled "Fuck You." I love it. Every band needs their own song called "Fuck You." If you're in a band that you don't have a song called Fuck You, I don't know what you're doing, but it's not right. <laughs> Real Big Fish has another Fuck You song. Yeah, but that's still a Fuck You song, and it counts. Yeah. yeah like, no, the no. Fuck, like, the Fuck You um, uh, criteria is um, uh, is um, uh, is flexible. That's true, that's true. Which one of you schnooks took my rhyme book? Yeah, I was actually thinking the other day, like, in a weird way, like, I envy Real Big Fish. <laughs> like, I feel what? like they had a lot going on at the time. <laughs> and, like, I don't think that kind of energy has been duplicated in other bands. They, um, uh... They're still I on have, going. They're, they're still around. Um, oh, are they? I feel like they are. Yes, they are. They released an album like two years ago. Yeah, they haven't, they haven't like quit or anything. Um, I will say that Real Big Fish holds dubious honor of uh, putting out one of my favorite albums, but also one of the most like incredibly bitter albums I have ever heard. There is. Oh yeah, no, not there happy. Is nothing. Uh, there is nothing in "We're Not Happy Till You're Not Happy" that like approaches. Uh, happiness. It is a very cynical. I can't experience. believe an album with that title. <laughs> I mean, obviously yes, but like yeah. it's still real big fish. They're still yeah. like you know goofy and silly and funny, but like there's just this incredible, this incredible anger and cynicism to the whole proceeding. It's amazing. I remember uh, the album Cheer Up uh, when they. There was, like, a point where, like, the record label was like, why are all of your songs so unhappy? And the like, response cause... was to play the title track from Cheer Up, but with all of the negatives replaced with positives. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they didn't get as much push pushback after that. <laughs> Note, the chorus of the song cheer up is I've got a funny feeling we're all born to lose and I've got a funny feeling that life ain't worth living through. I mean like is, uh... I'm assuming Real Big Fitch's, <laughs> Fitch's most popular single ever was Everything Sucks. Uh, uh no, It's actually it sell out. Sell out. But... Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> sell out though like as, as said by its writer is not a song about how you shouldn't sell out. Yeah, no, it's a song about how you should. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't work in fast food all your life. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe don't you stand there? But yeah, I mean, like... <laughs> one of my favorite bits, I, I watched them in concert, and one of my favorite bits it is they'll do a bit where it's like, hey, we're going to play our hit song, and then they'll play, like, a medley of, like, 12 different things that were popular in the 90s and then just be like yeah we didn't have a hit song really but this was our <laughs> most popular song <laughs> also almost yeah, every single I fucking song they claim to play Metallica was titled Greatest Hits and 15 other songs we think are pretty okay <laughs> that was the one the label put out I believe the one they put out uh, themselves was called The Best of Us for the Rest of Us which is a very expansive uh, compilation that also has like a bunch of like acoustic re uh, re redos and all sorts of other shit. Uh. The one thing about Real Fit Fish and looks like Ghost Track on one album that's just screaming in reverse speech, which when played normally it's like by a or something. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. Oh yeah, yeah. They have a, they have a, the secret track at the end of uh, Your Guts. I hate him is just like weird ambient noise that's like incredibly upsetting like but like it's the secret track right so like the the song's like two minutes long 
the track is like 11 minutes long, and the entire point is maybe you forgot to turn it off, so now you're getting freaked out. <laughs> Like it's not a it's not a ah you found the secret song it's a hey fuck you buddy. <laughs> yeah, the, the most recent album, uh, Life Sucks Let's Dance is surprisingly more upbeat than usual. But I mean, all all ska music of that era is basically party music for people who are chronically depressed. Oh yeah, like listen to a bomb music industry sometime. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. I didn't tell you that because I because I got you, <laughs> I did out to them, but Bob Music Industry is absolute peak. These are extremely happy, bouncy songs, and also I want to die. I have clinical depression. <laughs> Sometimes you're very depressed, but you still need party music. Yeah, exactly. Gets shit like uh, fucking uh, the internet is everywhere. God, that one still hurts to listen to. <laughs> A lot of times I like listen to like some. Of uh, Resident Stock's more recent songs, and it's just like, it, it is, these are deeply insightful and depressing, and also it's actually very hard to tell what is being said in some of them because they're so fast. Yeah. Especially think of festival song when I think of that. Oh, yeah. I am, uh, I am, uh, I thought that the, um, uh, I thought King of Minneapolis had different lines than its actual, like, lines for years because I could mm. never actually hear it on the actual track itself. <laughs> Fortunately, I am. Uh, I got that cleared up before I um, saw them live, and was actually allowed to sing that song. <laughs> like they handed me the microphone and everything. It was yeah, <laughs> fucking awesome. That, Greatest night no, of my life. I'm <laughs> not dead because uh, just yeah, that was the part. That was the part where I had that was, was, that was the where I had it. It was literally that bit. It's awesome. This thing over right that bit. Yeah, that song, that, 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 that's a very defining of the kind of sound Rosenstock ends up going for. Oh, yeah. Then they put him in charge of the soundtrack to a kid's show. <laughs> I, and he does a great I job with it, but how, it's very funny. <laughs> I don't know how that, that exact sequence of events happened, but um, uh, my only assumption could be, like, somebody at Cartoon Network got uh, their show made and was like, hey, Dude, I know just the guy. <laughs> and just wasn't, and just no one in corporate knew enough of what a Jeff Rosenstock was to stop them. <laughs> yeah, nobody, nobody like actually knew what a Jeff Rosenstock was. So they were like, yeah, sure, so sounds great. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh... Seems to be good at it, but it's still very wild to even imagine. Max is asking in the chat if, in the chat if we've listened to a band called One Direction. Oh God! Uh, <laughs> don't do this to no, me. I think I've heard of them. <laughs> They're still an active concern, right? One Direction. Nope, not fighting one of these guys. I watched uh, the freaking Quentin Reviews three-hour breakdown of the um, uh, of the last three seasons of iCarly. Uh, which is which is saying some shit. Which is absolutely saying some shit. And uh, there's something kind of incredible midway through it. They have a one dimension direction guest star episode in which it is explicitly said, "Oh, nobody recognizes us because we're not hairy." <laughs> what? <laughs> like they literally just uh, they literally just flat out say what everyone else was thinking, which is that. Uh, the thing about One Direction is the, it was only actually one superstar and like a bunch of other guys who were just sort of there. Oh, so the superstar was named Harry. <laughs> yeah, Harry Styles. <laughs> okay. See, I, I thought it was like a, they were supposed to have facial like, hair or something. No, like, so like the joke is, the joke was that they have a, they can all just like walk around town and they're like really enjoying it because like uh, their lead singer is gone and, um, uh, and nobody recognizes them. When he's not there, because everybody only cares about him. Weirdly, I'm uh, weirdly self-aware for a band basically getting a free advertisement on a Nickelodeon show. You <laughs> say was that the same episode where uh, one of the female stars of the show, uh, Rufy's one of the boys in the band, and drags him off to her bedroom? 
Uh, yes, it was, in fact. <laughs> okay. He's a sword. Yeah, there's a, there's, there's a lot going on in, 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 um, uh, in early, in, in mid-zeroes Nickelodeon sitcoms. And not all By of that point, you're at, like, the late hops. Yeah, um, uh, late, late zeroes to, um, uh, early tens. Um. I don't know. I never watched that shit, but I like Quentin reviews, and I'm happy to give him the views because he makes the best. Yeah, I, I took a look at some of the videos. It's just like, oh, this is a lot of time. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> yeah, like I just had it like on in the background. So that's yeah, the way yeah, to do that something like that. Good for when you're washing dishes or something. Yeah, like it's not active viewing, but it's definitely like um, yeah, you're I, listening to it. But like the visual is definitely a supplement to the audio. Yeah. So apparently the free mode one is basically kind of roguish in that it's just kind of you make gradual progress and make it back to base. Or you get That's killed me. by a dragon, which I'm tired of. <laughs> and now we're going to rob a bank. Yay! <laughs> and then what time is it? We'll call it a night. It is uh, 10.08. So we haven't been at it super long. We'll, like, we'll see how long it takes. Yeah. And I'm remembering, like, one of the darkest points in my life was the one where I was most relating to the Jeff Rosen stock track, The Lows. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, there's some... Uh, there's some, like, extremely uh, heartbreaking songs he's got. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, one's, that one's very much about reflecting on what God perceived personal failure. Yeah. The things we could We wanted to be I don't Comic mischief Oh, and on the sad news Everyone I assume saw the news on Norm Macdonald yeah. Yeah. Who? <laughs> okay. I mean, sorry? I mean... Should I be Recently sorry? famous comedian from, like, the... Uh, spent some time on us in the 90s, that sort of thing. I mean, he, he sounds... The name sounds familiar, but I, I really don't know anything about it. Do you ever see the Saturday Night Live sketch of uh, Celebrity Jeopardy with uh, Burt Reynolds? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was Burt uh, Reynolds yeah. in that. Oh, okay, okay. Well, now I'm sad. Yeah, yeah. Drew Ferguson, yes. <laughs> Fine. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the number of weekend update bits, that, that was his purview for a while. Yeah, he had apparently hidden the fact that he had cancer for nine years. Yeah. Which is impressive. Yeah. But... I feel like how I'm, uh... <laughs> What's his, what's his name? Uh, freaking Chadwick Boseman. Uh, oh, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think, like, anybody... Like, I'm sure people do, I don't, but I, I can't imagine... Yeah, but I can't imagine just from his activity that you would reasonably suspect yeah, that, you know, that he was, like, battling cancer. Yeah, no, the yeah. physicality of it is crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that, one, that one caught me off guard. I was like, wait, seriously? Look at this, like, Mega Man gif here. <laughs> He's going. This is incredible, I love this. Uh, this is what happens when the Servbots rob a house. They turn on your television and play Mega Man. That's amazing. Oh, Mags, yeah. I'm, uh, Mags failed. Good night, Mags. I don't know if you're here to see yeah. you're, you're here to hear this. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys. Also, the, the Norm MacDonald's bit about uh, cancer from about 10 years ago is now uh, going around again. It's still a really good joke. The, the neutral thing? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure if you die, the cancer dies at the same time. That's not a loss, that's a draw. Good shit. I mean, dark as hell, but yeah, no, legit funny. Now, his darkest joke was during the O.J. Simpson trial. He made a joke where O.J. Simpson got so mad, or he said O.J. Simpson got so mad that O.J. Simpson said that makes him so angry that he's going to go stab his ex-wife and that some random waiter. Oh, wow. 
I mean, went for it. Yeah, no. Apparently, he loved making O.J. Simpson jokes that suggested that O.J. killed his wife, which he probably did. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, is my, there really any doubt? My understanding he is the, that he lost the civil suits. I, my hmm. understanding is literally that's why Norm Macdonald wasn't allowed on the uh, weekend update anymore because some executive was literally sympathetic to O.J. and didn't like it. <laughs> well, guy was supposedly a friend of O.J.'s. And, I kind of mad about it. That's so, actually hilarious. So, so Norm, they asked him to tone down the O.J. Simpson jokes, and Norm made every joke an O.J. Simpson joke the next week. That is... <laughs> I, 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 I never, ever cannot respect somebody just saying, no, I am going to bite the hand that feeds me, and I am going to rip the entire arm off. <laughs> well, that, that's the other thing. Did you ever see the super cut of him... Um, with his podcast, and apparently he was trying to support some sort of grill or something, and like just screws it up every time. <laughs> up to and including like insulting Larry King while doing it. God, that's amazing. <laughs> now I'm thinking about back to Quentin Reviews, Time is a Flat Circle. Uh, the time he got the um, uh, coveted Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship. Oh, God, <laughs> that one. And my God, I have never seen. A um, because uh, they allow you, they don't allow you a lot of deviations from the um, uh, scripts when the, when it comes to like YouTuber ads. They're that's... always essentially the same. Ad. Yeah, they they um, <laughs> uh, they they allow you to like toss in a few jokes, but there are certain points you absolutely have to make. Uh, you you are you obviously are able to say that it's like you know an advertising that sort of thing. Also, so he hit every single here point. Is fuck the police. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck the cops, fuck the cops. Um, As you were saying. The the, um, uh, the thing he does is literally just uh, uh, talk about it as though he genuinely can't believe how great it is. Screaming stuff like, I'm going to sell my house so I have money to pay for this game. <laughs> and like <laughs> all of the like um, uh, like the, 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 the promo code and everything that he puts like on screen to like get uh, so much free silver is in Comic Sans. <laughs> <laughs> And he says, I know you've heard this a lot, but this is actually the greatest game ever made by any human in the entire human history. Just, like, incredible. And then, like, after that, he said, Ray did not call me back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got the paycheck. That's all you yep. need. You got the paycheck. You did not like, get it. I see someone take that. It's like, no, good for you. I hear yeah, they no, pay a absolutely. lot. <laughs> take the money. Take the fucking money. Apparently, they don't pay nearly as much, and, like, if you negotiate a little bit, they'll pay, like, twice as much. Uh, yeah, believe... they will try to lowball you. But... Yeah, they will definitely lowball you, but, like, uh, Dark Viper AU got, like, asked about it, and so he said, I can talk about this, I didn't sign a fucking NDA or anything. Uh, I said, they said, hey, we want to sponsor one of your videos, and he said... He, he, he said in so many words, fuck off. <laughs> but he said, make me an offer. And they made him an offer and they said too low. And they're like, oh, well, we can double it. And then he was like, oh, so you knew it was too low. <laughs> you were just hoping. You were just you hoping. Ho you were hoping I didn't know. <laughs> you were hoping that I didn't know what I was worth. Fuck off. <laughs> so, yeah, they, um, uh, they definitely... They definitely are trying to lowball everybody, everybody, all the all those video sponsors and like you know all those ads. They are but all apparently you can extract a fair bit of cash. But if you can, but if you can do it, but if you can, but if you like you know have you have a little bit of like, but if you like make a point to um uh, to say now wait a second you can in fact take them for um uh, all they're worth, hmm. and then you could do shit like uh, Quentin did and never get called back hmm. from. Them. <laughs> See. Probably yeah. solves itself. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm going to do one more shipping container mission, and then we're calling it a night. <laughs> All right, those are fun. I like those. Bank yeah, robbing went cool. faster than I expected. <laughs> like the the RPG bit's biggest problem is that it's probably too long per time. Uh, I mean, it, it is definitely. It feels very oh, padded. Great, that makes a good point. Was this game out in 1999 slash maybe late 98? Yeah, yeah. 99, yeah. I want to say early okay. 2000s. I okay. think it was 99, distinctly. Yeah, because okay, 2000 like, is Mega Man that, um, uh, the TV under Mega Man... He says TV underneath the Mega Man running thing is... If underneath that is something that looks like a Sega Dreamcast. The, yeah, this was July 1999. 
Um, so okay, there you go. So, and the Dreamcast, the Dreamcast came out in like December '98. Um, Why is this right, $600 so, on eBay? Yeah. Why did are you, I even are you... look at that? I was trying to look up the date, and like the first thing that's on my results is like, you know. Yeah, like, it was November. This game. Yeah, in in Japan, the Dreamcast came out in November on November 27, 1998. And then Tronbon was a uh, a like July of 1999. Uh, it was April of 2000 in America. I called it being earlier, but yep. yeah, yep. it still <laughs> lines up for it to be possible that was in fact Dreamcast, even though there are no Dreamcast Mega Man games. I was gonna say a Dreamcast playing Mega Man. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can you can put bad emulators on your Dreamcast and play them like you could use the Sega Smash Pack and play bad, a bad emulation of lesser versions of Mega Man 1 through 3. Yay. <laughs> Don't do that. The sound emulation is horrible from the Sega Smash Pack and the emu even though Sega itself did have files in there indicating that they intended for people to just use the emulator. Oh, um, uh, that was apparently a rogue um, uh, a rogue programmer. Oh, it's always rogue, but still very funny. Oh yeah. Like, this was a case of, yeah, I know exactly what you're going to do, so here's how you fucking do it. <laughs> I once saw someone, they did, uh, it's a stream that I'd like to follow called Retro Pals. They did a stream of the Sega uh, Genesis Richard Scary's Busy Town game, <laughs> which is full of horrible synthesized speech, but they did it through the Smash Pack. So That's it's crazy. all horribly distorted and like constantly it's fucking gorgeous, <laughs> constantly fucking up, and like the stream is just labeled Ply Barker's busy town. <laughs> Recommended streamers. <laughs> Play as Mega Man in three different Dreamcast games. That is true. Horosis, Capcom 1 and 2, and... Cannon Spike? Uh, yeah, Cannon Spike. Think you could, play, could you play as Mega Man Cannon Spike? Oh, absolutely. I think you could, okay. yes. That's what I was thinking, but I was like, is that Mega Man, or is it someone else from my favorite, Mega Man? My favorite thing about Cannon Spike is that you have different endings depending on whether or not you've got one person or two people on your team. And hmm. if you just play as Charlie... Charlie dies. Charlie from Street Fighter. That, owns. that is his destiny in existence. But his lot in life is yeah, to there is ever no, be killed. Yeah. There is no uh, there is no non like uh, non death scenario for Charlie. But if you play as Charlie and Mega Man, one interpretation of the ending is that Mega Man saves Charlie by summoning Rush. But if you just kind of read it straight and, like, don't exactly pay attention, it really looks like Mega Man summons Rush, and then Mega Man just leaves. <laughs> and Charlie's just out. like, oh. <laughs> like, it, it's kind of like, I th it's just written kind of weird, <laughs> but that's what happens. It's like, I'm sorry, bud, but that happened, yeah. I'm also very amused at how close you got to managing that. Yeah, but not quite. I'm trying to figure out if... No, because that works. Okay, works. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I'll probably still be on the same puzzle. Yes, we'll be on the next puzzle till like, probably 11.30 my time. <laughs> Definitely taking the flower. 11 o'clock nope. my time. It's your time, too. Okay, so I think maybe I could do this. East Coast, least Coast! Woo! <laughs> Yay. Uh, Calscrub, what crazy birthday party plans do you have for this weekend? I am eating at a Japanese steakhouse on Sunday. Oh, damn. Kick oh, ass. Uh, let me, let me see what I'm what I'm probably going to order. 
Yeah. Let's look at a menu. Woo! <laughs> You're wild and crazy guys. <laughs> yeah, they have not <laughs> They have a Wagyu tasting menu. <laughs> What if you throw that blue box in the water and then throw the wood crate next to it? Man, I do not have any idea where the, the stream delay is right now, but let's just assume I did that. <laughs> That's the last container. All right, let's go to the next dock. I don't wish to apply that I'm not paying 100% attention, but I guess got a sick spike on this Ike player as Little Mac. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's almost impossible. <laughs> I'm about to say, it seems doable. I mean, you're dealing with a character that also wants to get close. No, I mean, I literally close. made an offstage play as <laughs> Little Mac. <laughs> I mean, were you. Was it the final stock and you were about to, to die if you didn't sweat? <laughs> no, 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 I made it back. I won that. <laughs> I stunned him, actually. I did not lose a single life that round. No. <laughs> I have learned well from watching uh, Peanut stream VODs. <laughs> You've learned the ways of the Mac. There is no greater way than the way of the Mac. Is it the return of the Mac? Yes. Rip a piece, Bismarcky. <laughs> He's gonna write a book called Mac and Me. <laughs> I like just how casually you hurt surf bots in this game. Like, I'm <laughs> continually running over the little dude who's trying to help me. And just Tron just does not care, even the tiniest bit. They're indestructible. They are. I mean, she built them to last. I'm trying to, like, decide if it's more, like, existentially terrifying for them to be, like, actually indestructible, or for them to, like, just get destroyed all the time, but be replaced by functionally identical copies with, like, the memory backup. Yeah, no, they, they definitely have their own little personalities and stuff, so I presume that they are just continually being, like, ripped to shreds, but they're okay. <laughs> they, just put, they just put them back together. It's not a big deal. Exactly. It's fine. Whatever. They are, like, the very definition of the old-school, like, you know, anime villains that are constantly being blasted into the sun and they're just fine next week. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! Exactly. They are built for that life. They are, they are in fact, about that life. <laughs> okay. Next in the world of lifting the moving stuff. Yeah, lift and pick up and then put her back down. I like that the Trons have a tank and the best they can do with or excuse me, the Bonds have a tank and the best they can do with it is just lift stuff. It's kind Big of money, right? mundane, mundanely proper. Yeah. Say, I made a pretty good living doing that. Yeah, no, it, it's like this, this is the way to go. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's you know, it's, it's good honest work. Which they probably hate, so that makes it funnier. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, it's a good, honest living, and I fucking hate it. Ah, if only we're dishonest somehow. They're just like, uh, they're just like, um, uh, they're just like, like, looking at the, um... God, I'm trying to, like, think of how to put this into words. They're just, like, looking at, like, the, um, uh, the job request and going, okay, yeah, no, it, it's, it's decent, honest living, but can we make it less so? <laughs> like, is there a way we can, like, insert some, like, chicanery into this? Something, anything. Throw me a bone here. Throw me a bone. What Kill do you got? Here. What do you got? 
Is it an evil petting zoo? <laughs> <laughs> Is that you say you need you need like a restaurant shift worker? All right, I'm on board. I'm there. Question: Is this an evil restaurant? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, maybe next time. I mean, I do very much appreciate how this puzzle thing is built for five-year-olds who constantly have to, like, undo stuff, because it's good. <laughs> good. I like it. I solve puzzles like a five-year-old, so it makes sense. Who the fuck said, I like it, I can dance to it, therefore it's good? That's a sample I've heard on fucking uh, Rancid's second album. And I know it's, like, someone relatively important saying it, but I don't know who. <laughs> then again, it might just be like no some answer. scene guy that, uh, that's, it, it's entirely, like, even more likely, really, that it's just some scene guy with Tim do. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to straight up move this out of the way. I'm gonna put this here and I'll make life better. And I can put this here. Done that one over. Ah, we got them all. Ah, well. Damn it. Okay, I made this work for me now. We got all the containers. Yeah, it's officially done. Ah. true anyone who plays zelda is a terrorist <laughs> jesus it's true <laughs> i come back and time's become looping <laughs> yeah we're back where we started you know zelda the character not zelda the series <laughs> yeah no, zelda no i character. figured it out <laughs> you know it, it, it's been officially two hours here on the stream i think we can call it a night for tron for right now yeah <laughs> I think this is okay. a good you went through at least point. one of each stage. Yes, I, and we'll be picking it up again next taster. week. Make some heavy progress, I'm sure. And uh, for right now, we'll just call it a night. So I am heavy death. There's no way you can pay me. Exactly. In, in the name of hating Zelda, we'll just take a little break for the evening, and we'll come <laughs> back next week, and we'll whip these serve bots into shape. <laughs> Sounds good to me.
All right. With them until uh, their brains get better. <laughs> exactly. Have a great night, all. Have a good night, everybody. Peace. All right.